Looking for a comfortable getaway? A place to relax and enjoy the finer things in life? Or simply a holiday home out of your city, equipped within a safe, secure neighborhood, with running water, electricity, and a beautiful place to lay your head with satellite entertainment and an outdoor garden to relax? Pamusha is your place, your getaway, your home away from home. Contact Jada on plus 263-771-798-415 or plus 263-777-439-698. Pamusha, your place, your home. It's the little things that make us giants in our industry. We put in that extra mile of service so your car can go that extra mile of performance. Our aim is to make our stopovers feel like home. Giant Petroleum. Limitless Energy. Hello guys, my name is DJ Ola7 on the Ola7 Podcast Show. And uh, the show is getting hotter and hotter by day. And uh, it's none other than the Genius Kids. And today with me here is um, Mini Mr. Africa. Mini Mr. Africa. I mean the whole continent. Mini Miss Africa is here. And I won't say his age because he will say it for himself. Uh, otherwise, you say, ah, Ola is lying here, yeah, this and that. Okay, you tell us about, uh, about himself uh, just now. Now, he started modeling uh, last year, you know, while he's competing for Little Mr. Zimbabwe, which he begged the title that made him represent Zimbabwe in Africa. So, he won uh, Mr. Popularity at the same uh, pageant, and he also won the following. And ladies and gentlemen, please listen as I list them. Mr. Popularity. Mr. F uh, the most... The most photogenic, king of multimedia, most talented. He also advocates for boy child. Wow, this is just amazing. It's the talented mini uh, king of Africa, Mudiwa Prince Aiden Murambizi. Welcome to the show, young man. How are you? Thank you for having me, and you're looking amazing. Thank you so much, Aiden. You're looking amazing too. Thank you. So, briefly tell us about yourself. My name is Muda Prince Aiden Murambizi, and I'm nine years old. Wow, awesome. And um, what grade are you in? I'm in grade four, and I learn at Twitter Force Garden Junior School. Right. I, I spoke about your modeling accolades and whatnot. Tell us, when did you start uh, modeling? Oh, I started modeling when I was three years old. Mm -hmm. My mother was just posting some reels, and then this captured some national director's attention. So that's when I joined the pigeons. Mm. So it means your parents are very, very supportive, right? Yes. Awesome. So how did you feel winning the first time? Shall I correct you on that? Okay. This is actually not my first time. Mm. I won last year, 2023, which made me represent this beautiful, amazing country, Zimbabwe, in Lagos, Nigeria. Wow. And what were you doing there in okay. Nigeria? I was competing against different... People from other countries. Mm. Yes. So tell me about your your family. You know what position are you in your family, and also how do you, uh, how, how is your relationship like with other siblings? Oh, I'm the last born out of my three siblings, Noku and Zoe. Mm -hmm. And I love them. They love me, and they are super talented. Mm. What, what what do they do? They sing. Okay. They have an album they just posted like three weeks ago. They have an album? Yes. How many songs on that album? I think like three. Oh, that's amazing. So this is such an amazing family, a blessed, a gifted family, shall I say. So you guys are just, you know, gifted in yes. your family. Yes. Wow, that's amazing. So do you have any friends? Oh, Riley Nyakujige is one of my friends who comes on the holidays. Uh -huh. They do the same. Uh-huh. Yes. <laughs> I do the same. Okay, so what do you guys do during your, your spare time? Oh, we play the PS5. PS5? Yes. So, can I tell you something? Yes. I've never played uh, PS5. Why? Maybe time. 
I'm always busy. I'm always busy. Um, the last time I, I, I played games was like, what, 2023? Last year, maybe beginning of last year. Uh, 2023, yeah, PS4, by the way. Huh. So I have never tested PS5. How's it? Uh, it's exciting. What's the difference between PS4 and 5? A little bit different. Uh -huh. The quality. Oh, the, oh. <laughs> so when, you, when you're playing uh, like um, FIFA 2024, 20, yes. you know, you see the actual image of the person rather than like, the, the, you know, those <laughs> yeah. sketchy, things. Yeah, sketchy things. Exactly. So tell us about your hobbies, include, I mean, uh, games, right? What's your favorite game and why? Oh, my favorite game is Minecraft. Mm -hmm. And the reason I love it is because, you know, people from other countries, they create servers so I can join them and talk to them. Mm. Okay. Yes. So, guys, let me tell you something about Aiden. He also plays saxophone. Would you believe it? Tell us how it all started. At your age, I can't believe it. I only knew of um, Philip Sosse. You know, he's a legend when it comes to saxo. And there you are, a nine-year-old, playing saxo. Tell me about it. Oh, then, Denison and Dave on sax inspired me with the sax. Mm. So I started playing it. And also my mother knew that some people, most of the people, right, mm -hmm. would sing and dance at talents. Mm -hmm. So she led me to play the sax. Oh. Yes. So who bought the saxophone? Oh, my supportive mother bought the sax. Wow. Shout out to you, mama. We love you. <laughs> She's doing so amazing for you, you know. And, um, you know, uh, have you ever performed at a concert or something? Uh, no, actually. You can give me three months and mm -hmm. you can actually book me. Oh, yes. uh, guys. <laughs> Did you hear that? I said, give me three months and you can actually book me. So we want to book um, uh, Aiden. For let's say a birthday surprise, a wedding, or what else? A funeral. A, a funeral as well. <laughs> so at the funeral you'll be playing those, you know, uh, what do you call them? You know, those sad songs. Mm. Do you know uh, funeral songs? Yes. Like which one? Um, I forgot the name of the song. Uh huh. But it's quite sad. It's quite sad. And you know how to play it on sax? Nah. That's why I said give me three months. Three months. You want to practice? Yes. Wow. I like that. So do you have a favorite musician or saxophonist uh, that you look up to? I looked up to Dave and Denison because mm. they are the ones who inspired me. Okay. So Denison? Yes. I'm secure. Yes. He's doing very well. He's doing amazing. And I, I hope, you know, soon I'll be hosting him on this platform as well. And he will bring his, uh, his saxo. <laughs> so have you, ever, have, uh, have you ever tried playing uh, different styles of uh, music, you know, on the saxo? Uh, no, actually. Mm -hmm. Why? Because I'm still learning. Mm -hmm. So how do you feel when you play the sax? I, I feel quite pleased mm -hmm. when, it, when I play the sax. Uh -huh. It calms me. Uh -huh. Even if I'm angry, I play the sax. When you're angry? Yes. <laughs> so that you're going to be calm? Yes. Oh, amazing. So when I'm angry next time, I'll hire you to come and just play the sax for me. So that I can, you know, calm down. Okay. So do you have a coach in all this? You know, playing sax and also modeling? Okay. Dave on sax is my coach in, you know, sax. Sax, yeah. And Uncle Poulson is my coach in modeling. Mm -hmm. Okay. What is your saxo uh, saxophone practice routine like? Like three days a week. Mm -hmm. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, or how do you spend the days? Like Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Yeah. Especially during the holidays. What about uh, school days? School days. Mm. I, I do this. When I'm after school, I'll practice the sax. Mm hmm Yes. After school? Yes. When you get home, you start playing the sax? Yes. Okay. So how do you balance all this with your schoolwork, like modeling as well? Oh, I'm very good with my schoolwork. Mm hmm And before I went to Nigeria, right, 
They didn't know that I'm a model, so hmm. they didn't allow my hairstyle. Okay. <laughs> they said, no, cut your hair. Yes. And you, you, what did you say to them? I said, I am a model, and then I'm going to, I'm going to represent Zimbabwe in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. My mother talked to them. Mm -hmm. Then they allowed me. Oh, eventually. Yes. At least, at least they allowed you. <laughs> I was going to be very upset, you know. But anyways, so what is your favorite subject? How are you? Are, how good are you? Uh, you know, in that subject. Oh, my favorite subject is mathematics. Mathematics. You deal with the numbers. Yes. Okay. So, shall we give you something? Maybe a mathematics question. Yeah. <laughs> he said no. Why? <laughs> Why not? Uh, no. <laughs> You're not ready for that? Yes. Oh, oh, so it's just your favorite? Yes. Oh, so there's a difference between uh, favorite and being good at it. Mm. Are you good at mathematics? Yes. Okay. So it's all right, guys. He's good. It's his favorite. But I'm not going to ask him the question. He said no. So I'll respect that. Okay. So what advice would you give to someone who is interested, you know, in learning how to, pay, to play a saxophone? I'd say go for it. Mm -hmm. Never let yourself down. Yeah. Never? Let yourself down. Guys, move back to my point there. Okay, no problem. So, what do you enjoy most about modeling? Oh, visiting different countries, meeting new people, you know, mm -hmm. learning about their cultures. Yes, true. Yes. So, um, what were your memorable you know, experiences or shoots uh, as a model? The food in Nigeria, mm -hmm. it was very spicy. <laughs> Did you eat jello rice? Yes. Ah, <laughs> the rice is too much. Too much spice? No. No spice? No. Okay. It is spice, but it's not that spicy to me. Mm -hmm. do, you, do you eat chili? Yes. Every day or sometimes? If I have. Mm -hmm. chili. You, you eat chili? Yes. Wow, at your edge. Mm -hmm. Chili? Yes. Some they say no, they even cry when they you know eat chili. Mm -hmm. So you not you don't have any problem with that? Yes. Wow. Guys, this is a strong man. That is why he's uh, Mr. Mini Mr. Africa. Okay. What were your I mean uh, uh, let, let's talk about um um your role models. Who would you say this one is my role model in, in modeling industry? Modeling industry. Mm-hmm. I'd say Uncle Fernando. Uncle Fernando? He's from Uganda. Uganda? Yes. Tell, tell us more about him. Especially for those who doesn't, who doesn't know Mr. Fernando. Uh, he's strong and handsome. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you're handsome too. Yes, thank you. <laughs> nice one. Okay, so I want to understand something. How do you prepare you know, for a modeling gig or a photo shoot? Okay, on the modeling gig, I make sure that my speeches are on point. Mm -hmm. And on a photo shoot, I make sure my outfits are on point. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, you were also crowned the most photogenic, like I said earlier. How do you stay confident and uh, comfortable in front of the camera? Uh, it's natural. I think it's by God's grace. <laughs> I just love the response. And it's natural. I think it's by God's grace. Okay, what a response. Okay. And do you look forward to appear in fashion show or in a magazine? Yes. When I'm going to the United States of America to represent the whole of Africa. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to New York for a fashion show. When? October. October? Yes. Our boy will be in New York. So, uh, don't you want me to go with you? I'll ask my mom. You ask your mom. Mama, please. Please, just give us permission to go with my boy to New York and have fun. <laughs> so, how do you handle feedback? You know, sometimes people are just, you know, like, ah, no, he's not good at this. So how do you handle feedback? Actually, my feedback, my feedback is great. Mm -hmm. So I'm actually grateful. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
And I want to understand something. You know that moment when you are um, waiting for the judges to, to announce the results. It's like, okay, how do you feel that moment? <laughs> Tell me. The moments. Yeah. Ha. You see, I've been looking at people mm -hmm. saying who will win. <laughs> Maybe you'll be like uh, um, six or so models and you'll be, okay, who's going to win? So when, when, when your name was called to be, like, okay, Aiden Murambizi, the winner. What was your reaction like? I wanted to cry, but I was a boy. You were... <laughs> as I wanted to cry, but as I was a boy. So being a boy, it made you not to cry. Mm -hmm. Why? <sighs> <laughs> Tell us why. The reason I didn't want to cry. Because mm -hmm. people would think I'm just a little boy. Okay. But you're still a little boy. I'm turning 10. Ah, uh, still. <laughs> I know, you're turning 10, but it's still. Okay, so which age would you say, okay, I'm no longer a little boy, or this one is still a little boy? 15. 15? No longer. No longer a little boy. But 10, a little boy? No. Oh, so what are you saying now? 8, a little boy. <laughs> ah, guys. This one is a character, it's such a, I don't know, okay, it's fine. So you've been to Ethiopia, and how was the trip? Uh, it was a day trip, and I really enjoyed it. Mm. We were planning to go on a tour, but we were actually tired, so we just went to the hotel, mm -hmm. and it was nice. Mm. I, logged in, I locked myself in the bathroom. What? <laughs> the boy locked himself in the bathroom. So, who then unlocked the door? My mother called some, um, you know, security. <laughs> to say, yes. come help this boy. Yes. <laughs> but what, what, what were you doing? And why were you doing that? Uh, I was just closing the door. Because uh. I wanted to bath. Uh. It was new. So, um, I was just wanting to close the door. Uh -huh. So, when I was trying to open it, yes. it didn't open. <laughs> Then you said, Mama, did you cry? No. Okay, so you said, Mama, the door is not unlocking. Yes. Come unlock for me, please. Yes. Okay, okay, okay. So, okay, you, you traveled to Ethiopia, you traveled to Nigeria. Yes. And early on, you told me about, you know, learning about, new, uh, about their cu cultures and other stuff. So tell me about uh, what you learned in Nigeria and also in um, uh, Ethiopia. Actually... Do you know that uh, people from Uganda mm. also call me Tinyama? Tinyama. They call meat. Oh, meat. Nyama. Oh, meat. Oh, okay. Nyama as well. Yes. But Nyama is our word. They should have word that one. Yes. Don't you think so? Yes. So, it is. so who borrowed from who? Mm. The Uganda. Ugandans. You guys, you borrowed our word. Nyama is our word. <laughs> That's our word. Because we even say, Mr. I mean, Mini, Mr. Africa, Manyama. So it's our word. Manyama is our word. You know what I mean? Yes. <laughs> and what else? Oh, what I learned. Yeah, Nigeria is the warmest place. And their clothes are quite different from ours. Mm -hmm. They wear like beads. And the... Um, Men wear like dresses, but they are not quite dresses. Mm -hmm. They reach up to here. Okay. Yeah. But they're not dresses. They're yes. not like dresses, dresses. Yes. Okay. So did you manage to get one, uh, maybe outfit? One outfit? Yeah. Yeah, it's at home. Oh, you have it? Yes. Like a, Niger a Nigerian outfit? Yes. Wow. And that uh, small head? Nah. You don't have the head? Yes. But I think you should have one. So I talk to Mama. Because <laughs> it, it really matches well. It's, it fits well when you have this, um, I don't know what the name of the head. And uh, this dress you're talking about. Mm -hmm. So how did you, I mean, uh, prepare for um, uh, like your trips? My trips? Yeah. Nigeria. To Nigeria and Ethiopia. Like I said, to Ethiopia, it was a day trip, mm -hmm. and it was exciting. Mm -hmm. You know, 
in the plane it was very cold. <laughs> but when I reached to Nigeria, hey, it I was very hot. Oh, why? The air. It was hot. Mm. Guys, you see, but here in Zimbabwe, the weather is cool. The air, the air in Nigeria. Just the air. Yeah. Too hot. Maybe humid. <laughs> so. It's like you're going to breathe the tomatoes the whole day. <laughs> <laughs> I was not expecting this one. Hans, it's like you are going to breathe with your mouth the whole day. Tumbo zoro zamino, guys. Tijim bushan zamuro mo boz. Pare kipa kai pa mino. Nenge ukuru wa boz. Nene tuma nostru tuniki gazga. Pakuna like pakati kure ipa kufema. You know what I mean? So, while it's in Nigeria, did you manage to, by any chance, maybe make new friends? Actually, I did. My new friend in Nigeria is David. Yeah, he was actually the first runner-up. Okay. Yeah. He's a Nigerian. Yes. Okay. So do you guys still talk? Do you have his WhatsApp number? No. So okay. So it was just you were just friends in Nigeria. Then when you came home, the friendship just vanished. Nah. Ah. Ah. You should make a plan. Maybe one day you invite him to Zimbabwe. Right. I'm going back in Nigeria. When? Like in December. Oh, in December. Yeah. Um, as a model or what? It's just a trip. Just a trip. Oh, just a trip. Oh, nice. So you are also uh, an advocate for the boy child. This is something which is, you know, amazing. Mm -hmm. So what inspired you to become an advocate for boys' rights or issues? You know, boys, you know, girls are being loved more than boys these days. Mm. You can say and that boys, again. At least some someone say it. And boys have tough love. Mm -hmm. mm. Tough love? They receive tough love. Tell me more about that. I want to understand. That's all I got. Mm. Yeah. Tough love. Mm. So as an advocate, what's your message to, to the parents out there who have those um you know young boys at home? I told them that stop abuse. Mm -hmm. You know, you didn't give birth to a child freely. Because God gave you that child for a reason. Mm -hmm. And you wanted it. So take it. Because you can't just leave a child mm -hmm. you gave birth to. He needs care. And when you're a child, you can remember what care you were given. So you should do the same to your child. Mm -hmm. yeah. This is very, very, very powerful. Coming from Mini, Mr. Africa. Indeed. I'm sure you guys, you've learned one or two things there. He said a very, very powerful word. And God gave you that boy child for a reason. It was not by mistake. He didn't give you freely. I, I'm learning as well on this show. This is why we call this show the Genius Kids Show. This is just a genius kid here on the Ola 7 podcast show. So, um, what specific issues, Aiden, you know, or challenges do you focus on as a boy advocate? Abuse, mm -hmm. like emotional abuse, mm -hmm. physical abuse, and how parents change their children. Mm -hmm. yeah. Emotional abuse, physical abuse, you know, that we boys go through every day. You know, we are being abused there, you know. I'm a boy also. Do you know that I'm still a boy? No. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> but I was once a boy. Okay. So how you raise awareness about um, boys' rights or issues in your community um, or beyond? How are you doing that? Okay. I mainly donate tenderwares, pay school fees for them, give them clothes, mm -hmm. like take them to orphanages. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, so you pay the fees for them. Mm -hmm. How, where do you get the money from? Actually, I want to meet the president. Mm. So that's where I'm getting all the money from. You, you went to see the president? No, I You want, want to? Yeah. Oh, 
Sorry? I want. Okay. You want to meet the president? Yes. Please, guys. This boy wants to see Mr. President. And I know Mr. President is watching. This boy wants to see you, wants to meet you. But he didn't answer my question, the boy. My boy, where are you getting the money from? Okay. In October, right, when I'm going to Mean World, they are giving me like $20,000. 20K? Yes. That's a lot of money. And you spend that, you know, paying fees for other boys. Yeah. Okay. And what about the, the rest? Mm -hmm. What are you going to oh, use the money? The rest, after I'm done, um, uh, I will just give my, the, my mother the money mm -hmm. so she can keep on doing a business. Mm -hmm. She bakes cakes. Okay. okay. Wow. I don't know if I'm going to talk about it. I don't know if I'm going to talk about it. I don't know if I'm going to talk about it. I don't know if I'm going to talk about it. I don't know if I'm going to talk about it. <laughs> so Aiden, what um, advice would you give to you know other boys who are um, interested in modeling, uh, playing the sax and advocating for their rights as well, like you do? Like I said, on playing the sax, I'd say go for it. Mm -hmm. Never give up. Mm -hmm. And on modeling, I'd say never, never listen to someone who said mm -hmm. who says you cannot do it. Mm -hmm. You can always do it. You don't know if you lose or win. Mm. And do you have any places you'd love to visit uh, in the U.S.? I understand that you're oh, going to New York. US. Yeah, in the U.S. Because I know you are you are going to the uh, to New York. So in the U.S., any places? I mean Disneyland. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Disneyland. I I I went to to Hong Kong in 2018. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I also visited uh, the Disneyland, you know, the one in, in Hong Kong. Wow. Just amazing. You know, the scenery, like everything, like, wow. Wow. So I, 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 I wonder what Disneyland, you know, from the U.S. looks like. Mm -hmm. And you, you want to go there? Yeah. Wow. Amazing. So any last words, you know, uh, to your viewers? I'd say... Thank you for voting for me tirelessly along the way. I'd like to thank you all for supporting me till the end. God bless you and thank you. Wow. That was uh, Aiden Prince uh, of Swag representing Zimbabwe in so many countries and he's done, so, uh, he's done us proud. And uh, it was uh, I mean, a very fascinating conversation there. Nimkuman Wachidiki. Uh, uh, mini Mr. Africa. Oh, guys, this is just amazing. The Genius Kids Show. Until next time, my name is DJ Oda7. Bye-bye. It's the little things that make us giants in our industry. We put in that extra mile of service so your car can go that extra mile of performance. Our aim is to make our stopovers feel like home. Giant Petroleum. Limitless Energy.